Hey everyone, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Mule on 4K. But before we do, if you like physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, and DVDs, if you like home theaters, movies, you know, check out my other videos on my channel. I do unboxings, reviews, discussions, collection updates. You know, check those out. See what you like. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. Also, comment on any of my videos. Let me know what you think. So we're going to talk about the Mule on 4K. You know, movie came out in 2018. You guys are uh, R rating. You know, you got Clint Eastwood, Allison Eastwood plays in it as well, Diane Weist, uh, Bradley Cooper, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Michael Pena, and even directed by Clint Eastwood, which you know he's directed the you know, majority of his movies. Now the movie here is phenomenal. I mean, if you're an Eastwood fan. This is a fantastic movie. He plays Earl Stone. He's a florist, does a little whole floral, does decorations, all stuff like that. And that's, and that's basically all he does. And then, you know, times have changed and ends up shut his doors and, you know, go to foreclose on his home. And you know, he has no backup plan. All of a sudden, someone offers him a job just to drive, you know, take a package and deliver it somewhere else. And, of course, you know, he doesn't know you know, what he's carrying, he just, hey, he's going to get paid to drive. That's all he cares about. He wants to help out his granddaughter. And he's trying to make ends meet. So, hey, he takes a job. And he doesn't. And it's not until, I think, the, maybe after his third run, he you know, sees the money he's making. Curiosity gets the best of him. He opens a bag and realizes he's uh, transporting a whole bunch of drugs. And so he's not sure about what to do. He, you think he's going to stop. But it's like, the money's so good, so he continues to do it. He uses the money to help his granddaughter. And then he sees, uh, you know, he's helping other people, like his, his uh, friends, is the VFW, you know, pretty much planning to close his door so he, because of a fire. They don't have the money to renovate. So he donates money to them to get that reopened. So it's a great story. It's a great movie. I really enjoyed this. And with Eastwood, at his age, I mean, he's 93 now. And his, you know, watching the movie, I mean, you really see how frail he looks. You know, the kind of the baggy, you know, the skin hanging off the bones. And he's just like, man, it, I, looked, I looked at this movie from a different perspective. Because I see so much of my dad in him. And it's kind of how my dad was before he passed away. So it's just like, you know, I'm looking at the movie differently. And, you know, it's really kind of weird. Now this 4K came from Warner Brothers in 2019. You know, the movie was filmed in digital. It has a 2K digital intermedia, so it's upscaled to 4K, HDR10. Very solid presentation here. Um, the nice, it has a nice overall tone to it. The movie, you know, it doesn't have the filtered uh, cinema look that you get with most movies. It just has that nice natural tone to it that you don't expect. You know, the indoor scenes does, you know, has that kind of cinema look. They, you know, the neon lights at times that during the night shots really pop. Really nice details. The wrinkles on uh, Eastwood really pop off the screen. There's a lot of depth to it. Colors of his flowers really pop. Uh, another scene with the FBI agent is a uh, wrinkled shirt. It's like, it looks like he just grabbed it out of the laundry baskets and you know ironed out it just looked like it's been rumpled up forever so a very nice solid presentation here now comparing it with the blu-ray very subtle differences you know the color timing just a little bit the 4k gives you a little bit more depth but not a lot so check out some screenshots comparing the blu-ray and the 4k then we'll come back and talk about the audio packaging and the bonus features we'll see you in a couple minutes
Now for the audio, they gave us a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And it's a pretty solid audio track. I mean, because of the story, you know, it's, it's not an action movie. You know, not, you know, it doesn't, it's not loaded with gunfire, crashes. So don't expect a whole lot. It's just, it's just nice, well-balanced. got clear dialogue throughout. It's just a nice, even track all the way through. Now for the packaging, we got a, actually a slip cover here. And you know what I think of slip covers? You're right, crap. You know, standard keep case. And it does have a kit, digital code. We'll give that to you in a minute. No fancy artwork. It's a Blu-ray 4K. Now for the digital code, and here we go. We can, First one, have at it. I want to talk about the bonus features here we're showing at. We have Making of the Mule, Nobody Runs Forever. Uh, join actor, producer, director, Clint Eastwood, and an all-star cast and crew of the Mule as Eastwood makes his bold return to the big screen. And then we have a music video from uh, Toby Keith, Don't Let the Old Man In. So not a whole lot here, but it's pretty cool, interesting stuff. So to wrap it up, this is a nice uh, release here from uh, Warner Brothers. Is it worth up if you've got the Blu-ray? Is it worth upgrading to 4K? I'd say it's questionable. If you can get this in a really good deal, and you know it's going to be up to you. But I think the Blu-ray is going to be fine, and you know it's, this, you know, the 4K is not going to blow your mind. It is selling for fifteen dollars. So if you don't have it, I would go ahead and buy the 4K. And just judge for yourself if you want to upgrade or not. If you have the Blu-ray, you know, look for some sales. Especially being a Warner Brothers title, you know, keep an eye on Grove because you know since they uh, share the same distribution center with uh, Warner Brothers, so there, there's a lot of Warner Brothers titles on their site. And plus, with Black Friday around a corner, so I think you're gonna find this at a pretty good price for Christmas. But either way, I would recommend getting this. I mean, I love what Eastwood has done. Even at his age, I mean, it's crazy what he's still doing. I mean, since this one, he's put out Cry Macho. And he's got one more he's putting out. He's in production now. I think it's called a... I forget what the name of it is. But it's rumored to be his last film. Again, it's just... I mean, you watch... Even the... I haven't watched Cry Macho yet. But just watching this one... It's just, man, it's hard to believe he's still kicking. I mean, what he's done over his career. All the smoking he's done. is like... He's still alive at 93. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up. Comment below, let me know what you think. You know, check out my other videos, like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and we'll see you soon. Geek out.